One of the boats that's been turning a lot of heads here at the Seattle Boat Show is this 39 Invincible. This thing is a bad fishing machine. And I'm here with Del Stevens, the tuna dog himself, who has spent a ton of time on this boat. And Del's gonna help us walk through this center console because we just don't see many of this, these boats here in the, in the Northwest. No. Uh, this thing's got a big aggressive bow on it, bunch of reverse chime, but what's most noticeable here on this whole Del is this double, double step design here. And can you kind of explain what this does uh, to this hole? And does it change how it, how it runs? I mean, what does it do? Yeah, with a stepped hole, it, it creates pockets for air to get under it. It helps lift the boat a little bit more, helps the boat run more efficiently. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and generally that translates to a little bit better fuel economy. So it looks to me like the air enters here, kind of gets entrained under the hole, and then it probably just lifts the stern up a little mm -hmm. bit, huh? Yeah. And it, obviously they've designed it so it doesn't cavitate out those mercury outboards, so. No, it doesn't cavitate cool. at all. Yeah. It's, it's really good. Yeah. yeah. Great design under the hull. Yeah. All right, well, let's walk them back to the stern. Mm -hmm. and Triple 400 Mercs on this bad boy. Top speed? Ah, uh, just a little under 70 miles an hour. Oh, only 70? Yeah. yeah. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cruising 40, 40, 45 probably? Yeah, right in that range. One thing about the Verados that uh, if you've never ran Verados, they're extremely quiet. A lot yeah, more they're quiet amazingly quiet and fuel efficient, tons mm -hmm. of torque. The one thing about the Mercs, they've got a lot of low end torque to get a boat like this out of the water. So It pops right up, yeah, yeah. no problem. Up on the stern of the 39 Invincible now, of course, we've got our JL Audio speakers uh, back here on the stern. Big bait tank. Uh, this is a pretty good sized bait tank mm -hmm. here, Dale, right? Yep. This is actually a pressurized live well. Yeah. It's painted light blue uh, to soothe the, and keep the uh, bait fish, you know, from getting excited. Mm -hmm. Light in there to help with that. It's got a, a calming effect on the bait fish, right? It does, yeah. <laughs> and being pressurized, if you're running on a rough ocean, oh. it keeps them from getting beat up. Oh, interesting design. There's another live well down here too, right? Yeah, 72 gallon live well on the floor if you okay. need it. For extra bait there, mm -hmm. and then side fish boxes here. Yep, these right? are fish boxes. They have Big. a macerator on them. Macerators on those, those are those are good size, man. Yeah. And then uh, center here, well, you got your sea chest system and everything in here? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> the yeah. bilge here, the um, drains in here, your fuel, fuel controls for each of the tanks, and then obviously the sea chest to mm -hmm. keep your live well pressurized all the time. Yeah, nice and clean. Mm -hmm. And then uh, up against the leaning post here, nice you've, seating set up. Yeah, you've got that real nice seat here. You've got more fish storage here. Mm -hmm. And then tackle, yeah, tackle storage, storage back here, right? The seat. Oh, nice. Yeah, a couple of big drawers here. And, mm -hmm. and then you've yeah. got tackle trays here. Nice. Yeah, rod holders, cup holders up here. Nice seating area right there. Yeah, lot more plenty of rocket launchers here. for rod storage. A lot of rod storage. And then moving on up into the cockpit, more JL Audio speakers up here. And then this cockpit is just, mm -hmm. this is and, nuts. And setting underneath this is a sea keeper. Yeah. And if you've never been on a boat with a sea keeper and you're out there and it's rocking, mm -hmm. you flip the switch and it just, the boat just, just stabilizes levels. the boat all together. Yeah. yeah. And the swells just, the well, boat you know goes how it up is and down, but it, it still stays flat. When you're live baiting for tuna, you're always sideways to the swell. And yep. that just stabilizes the thing right down and yep. settles it right in. Bolster style seats. These are sweet. You can either stand up or sit down here. Yeah, or or really lean against nice. it while you're driving. I normally mm -hmm. will stand up while I'm driving. And, and it's partly because you're going so fast mm -hmm. that you need to be able to react if there's something in the water. Because mm -hmm. I mean, when you're moving as fast as this boat moves, mm -hmm. You know, you only have a few seconds to try to avoid something. Yeah. But then a lot of times I'm on autopilot, but I'm still standing here. Great home station, twin Garmin units. Yep. Uh, got your vessel view, VHF, got your fusion stereo system here. Sea Keeper. Sea Keeper. Autopilot. Mer control, stainless wheel with a steering knob. Really yep. nice setup. Trim tabs. Yeah, really yeah. nice. Although the trim tabs on this boat don't have as much effect on this boat as a lot of other boats. Yeah. You know, it comes up flat. Normally you would trim it down all the way to mm -hmm. come out of the hole. And this boat still comes up flat without hmm. the trim tabs. Wow. So jumps right up on step. Jumps right up on step. Yeah. yeah. I imagine that double step design helps 
helps that too. Coming I out think of the it hole. does, and I think it's where they place those that mm -hmm. make a difference as well. Because mm -hmm. a lot of other boats, like a yellow fan, they they take forever bow to rise. come up, and oh yeah, a lot yeah. of bow rides. And there's no shortage of rod holders, Dell. I really like these ones. They come up through the hard top, and you can stack a bunch of rods in here. And then moving up to this seating area, mm -hmm. this big lounger on the bow. This yeah, is the sweet. coffin box. Yeah. yeah, you can set on it, or or you can store gear, or you can actually put fish in it. Yeah, look at that. <clears throat> it's insulated. You can also get them with an ice with an ice plate in them. Mm-hmm. So, hmm, nice. Yeah, great setup, and then more fish storage underneath there, Yeah, more there, right? fish storage on the side. Yep, right there. Even more storage underneath the deck. Down there. This and is then, big storage here. Wow. Yeah. You could pack some tuna in that baby. Oh yeah, you could probably put, oh I don't know, probably 200 tuna on this boat. Good Lord. At least. Wow. With the coffin box, maybe 300. And then I like how close you can get to the edge of this thing too. A lot of times this with a center console, this will come out to here and you just can't quite get up to the edge. No. You can get right in there with this one. Yeah. Really nice. Anchor locker for yeah. all the chain Big anchor road. locker right there. Set up really well. It's got the recessed cleats, which are mm -hmm. really nice so that way lines don't come across them. You hook a cleat, they're all nice and, and mm -hmm. flush. And Bernouin mounts everywhere too. Yeah, These Bernouins are sweet. We put those on figuring uh, whoever buys this boat's probably gonna want mm -hmm. a little higher end product for their rod holders. Bernouin makes some great stuff. They do. Cup holders, nice padded bolsters. Um, nice thing about these Invincibles, they have a head. Well, and this head actually has a lot of stand-up room to it, whereas a lot of them you got to climb down in, and, mm -hmm. and uh, but this one, yeah, you can stand up in here. And because of the Sea Keeper, if you're down in there and you're offshore, you can really stay in an enclosed space, you mm -hmm. won't get sick. And I like the canvas on this too, for the Northwest. Yeah, that's pretty ideal. You need an enclosure to kind of protect you when uh, when you're running in the cool, the cool mornings. Yeah. Um, Amazing. So if somebody's interested in buying this boat, who do they get a hold of? Uh, they can get a hold of Kevin at Schooner Creek Boat Works or mm -hmm. they can get a hold of me. Nice. Either one. 39 Invincible. This mm -hmm. could be the baddest tuna fishing machine in the Northwest at this time. This thing's cool. Oh yeah, it's yeah. really cool. Yeah, it's right fun on. to drive. It's a serious boat. Um, if you drive this boat at 20 miles an hour, you won't like the ride. I mean, yeah. you have to drive this boat. You got to get up and go, don't you? Yeah, you got to get up and go. And it'll do plenty of that. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I ran 35 on sporty oceans with it. And yeah, just chews it up. Yeah. Well, that bow, it's got that big aggressive bow, and it just chews up everything. I would imagine. Yeah, that Carolina flared bow knocks it down. Mm -hmm. It's a dry riding boat. Yeah. And uh, makes a big difference when yeah. you're running in in sporty weather. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for taking the time, Dale. Thank you, Matt. It was great to see you too, man. Yeah. And hope to get a go tuna fishing here. I know. One of these days. Yeah. Thanks for watching. This has been Live the Boat, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down there. We'll see you next week.